Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Have you ever wondered while you're out and about what airplanes are flying overhead? Did you know you can do it from your cell phone with a little tiny RTL SDR dongle? Let's go figure out how to make this happen. So this is an impressive array of mess on the desk here. And I wanted to try and show you all something. I did a proof of concept, which is why I have this thing here. And you guys know what an RTL SDR is and you know what an antenna like this is. But did you know about connecting it to one of these and running all kinds of SDR software on the phone while you're out portable? So after you prove that it works, something like this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'll show you how I had it set up. The SDR dongle is USB-A and that plugs in just fine there. But obviously, as you can imagine, it doesn't plug in to a modern USB-C phone. And I don't think a phone has ever had this connector on it. So, what we did was plug that in, plug that in, and now we've come up with, let me get this stuff out of the way to make it a little easier to see. Now we have this very weird setup here where it is phone, a USB docking station, an RTL SDR dongle, and an antenna. And this is very unwieldy to carry around, not to mention that your RTL SDR is powered by your phone's battery, and that is gonna be a little clunky as well. So I have, a variety of devices here to test and we'll try and come out with a winner. So first off, clearly this hub needs to go because this is not this is not portable, this is not pretty. It gets the job done, but sometimes getting the job done isn't the only answer. Sometimes we need something a little bit better. So up first is these guys here and these are pretty small, but what I'm looking for is this USB-C to USB-A adapter, and you can see it's blue, so that is USB-3 on top of being USB-A, which means a little bit higher speed. This device doesn't need the higher speed, but, you know, when in Rome. And of course, it was upside down, so now it looks a little bit like that. That's Meshtastic running in the background. Open RTL SDR blog driver to handle it. Yes, and always do so. We'll show you this software when we get a second because that's necessary to make all this magic happen. Driver not found, RTL. <laughs> SDR Touch now requires installing an external driver in order to work with devices over USB. Download driver from Google Play, sure. And there is the SDR driver. So even that got updated since I played with this the last time. Open, the driver has been installed successfully. Please launch your host application and it will trigger the driver automatically. Excellent. So in this case, I have an SDR folder on my Android and in that SDR folder, are a whole bunch of apps. Let's do SDR Angel just to prove that this thing works. And why not use my location? You can choose to allow precise, approximate, or not at all. I'll just do the precise for now. Allow it to access the driver, yes. And then that is too small to read. SDR Angel is a software front end of a SDR radio. When combined with any of the following SDR hardware via USB on the go, which is what this needs to be, it can be used to virtualize and demodulate received radio signals as well as transmit depending on the SDR hardware. And then the first one is RTL SDR, which is what this one is. And then there's a list of other ones on here that you can play with as well. And select the configuration to load. And I'm gonna load ADSB. And it's loading the device sets for ADSB. And if I were outside, I would start seeing and stuff. I'm going to hit the play button and I can actually see planes overhead already. That's pretty slick. And now we're decoding. Oh, that is awesome. I'm, I'm horizontal, which is another part of the problem. I should be vertical. So I can go like that. And now I have a vertical antenna and we're already starting to get a little, a little warm to the touch, but that's pretty cool. Arrow rent. Nice. That is pretty slick. So I'm going to hit the stop button and see what we can do about this. So that is score number one, that works. Let's try a couple of other ones here. These are JS aux. I have used JS aux before for connectors and they have worked out really well. These are short little cable versions instead of plug versions. So the plug version has its utility, but I think the cable version might have a little bit more utility. Plug that in and we're good to go. Now let's plug the dongle in, it's still warm. And there you go, look at that. So now the dongle goes in my hand underneath and the antenna can stick out the top of the phone. Let's see if it works. We'll go back into SDR Angel and we'll hit play and we're receiving signal. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out and see if it complains because it's kind of technically upside down. I'm not sure which one it is. Let's do that one. Okay. 
Okay, we're here in radio signal, so that's good. Let's come back in here. So I'm restarting the software because I unplugged it in the middle of it being on, and now it's asking if it wants to access. I'm going to say yes. Okay. We're going to do ADSB again. Open. And we'll hit play, and there they are. Okay, so I just needed to restart the software. There's American Airlines flying overhead. Aero Vega, United. Okay, so this cable works. Excellent. So now I need to stop this, and we're going to reset the software. So that is two in the wind column, the JS aux cables and the adapter dongles. And then I wasn't sure. These here, I wasn't sure that these were going to work. These work just fine. So we can try these out because we have them. And these are JX Mox instead of JS aux. I'm sure they come off the same factory floor, but this has that same upside down out the bottom problem. It's not terrible. I mean, it, it works. And this is using the like it came right up and it used the right driver and everything's good. Let's disconnect it unexpectedly. That's different. Let's get rid of that. And let's do SDR Angel. Okay. ADSB. Open. Loading. Sample rate must be higher. Could not start sample source. Yeah, so this one here is complaining for some reason. Okay, so it's working again. I just unplugged it and plugged it back in. Yes, enable access. Okay, ADSB, open, start, can't start sample source because it's already running in the other app. Okay, so I plugged it in, it automatically launched the app and started listening and you could hear static, the squelch was open. So I hit the power button at the top there to turn it off. Let's get rid of that. Let's go back into SDR Angel. Yes, I'd like to grant it access, okay. No complaints. And we have airplanes, Southwest flying overhead. Awesome. Okay, so this one is good as well. It was just a little finicky, so maybe it disconnected while, uh, you know, because of the case. Maybe it disconnected because of the cell phone case that I have on there or something. But it works. So far, that's a win for everyone. There is a problem that I have one more solution for, and that is this set right here. And this one here has some very special use case in my mind. I think this is gonna be the big winner. See how it's USB-C on the top, and then I have USB-A. It just looks like regular USB-A. So it says mouse and keyboard, so maybe there's some data there. And then this is PD for power. So now I get my very trusty USB power bank, and I did a video on this. This actually will power a QRP radio, like your IC705, just fine. And I will link that video at the end here. So what we need to do is plug this in. Now the kit gets a little bit bulkier, but we can last all day now. Let me get a cable. Okay, so I have a USB cable, USB-C to USB-C. So we'll plug that in there. And when we plug this in, it should show that it's charging. Battery comes on. Phone says it is charging, so there's a win there. And now we can plug the dongle, and it immediately starts playing radio sounds. The squelch is open. Let's power that off again like we did last time. We'll close the app. We'll launch SDR Angel again. Do I want to give it access? Yes, I do. Okay. ADSB. Open. Loading ADSB. And then no airplanes, no nothing. I'm going to hit the play button and instantly we're hearing airplanes. This is pretty slick. I've got 10 airplanes overhead right now. All right, now we get to go outside and see if we have some more because I can run this for quite a long time. And now I've got my portable ADSB map. This is awesome. We're going to have a little bit of fun with the glare here, but I am now outside at the picnic table and we have the RTL SDR dongle, we have the 1090 antenna, we have the USB-C to PD to USB-A to connect the dongle and the battery, and we are seeing some air traffic overhead. This is actually a really busy area for airplanes. So that's one through seven. I've got 43 airplanes going overhead and it sounds like people are doing some aerobatics and racing above me right now. This is pretty cool. That's the shoot to call sign plane. I double tapped on the plane and now we're seeing that actual airplane's information. Oh, that is pretty cool. U.S. Air Force and it says it's a Northrop T-38C Talon. That's pretty cool. And they're just they're just doing little circles there. They're doing maneuvers. That's pretty cool. Hook 05. Let's see what Hook 05 is. Hook 05 is a Beach T-6A Texan 2. 
And if you tap on it, you get some information too. Call sign Vega 22. ATC call sign is Aero Vega. Light aircraft. It's at 2,300 feet. And it is climbing. Now it's descending. Now it's level. I'm actually seeing quite a lot of planes being outside with this little tiny antenna. There's the Delta, planespotters.net. That is the actual plane. This is fantastic. I can always hear them all around me all the time and I always wondered what they were. And now I don't need to wonder anymore. I just need to launch the application on my cell phone and point my antenna at the sky and I have information, unfiltered information right around me. This is pretty slick. There will be links for all of this stuff in the description down below if you wanna get some more information or if you wanna go grab some of this stuff and have at it yourself. The video on the battery pack on how to charge your IC705 is linked over here. And over here I have a playlist on building out your own ADSB transponder receiver system. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.